Okay, welcome to this tutorial on how to cartoonify yourself in a Google Drawing. You're going to want to start by creating a new Google Drawing. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually insert a photo of ourselves. So I'm going to use the insert image option once this loads up to take a picture of me which I'm going to end up tracing. So you click on insert image and then here you've got take a snapshot and that's going to start up your webcam. Now I'm going to use this lamp to make sure that I get some decent face lighting and there's my snapshot. There, so now I've got my image in my drawing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on the face because I'm just doing my face right now and I'm going to use the curve tool to trace my face. Now I want to start with the outline of my face because that's going to be the actual base shape. So I'm just going to start at my chin here and trace my face here. It doesn't have to be too perfect and up here on the hairline I'm not too worried because I'm actually going to get my hair to cover some of this. And the really important thing to remember is that you need to make everything an enclosed shape. So it always has to end up back right where it started. So just do a, a few clicks and to see if you watch this part of the line right here, you can see when I get it close, you can see it starts to change so the curve will actually be smooth. And I click and it's going to end up covering my face. That's okay. For now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the fill to be transparent. And remember, you always have to make sure that you've got an enclosed shape. So it can't be just a line because that will mess up our our colors a little bit later on. I'm going to do the outline of my hair. One of the things that you want to keep in mind when you're doing this is you're not actually tracing the shape. You're looking at the differences in color. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just tracing the outline of where it goes dark between my hairline and the background. But if you look at my actual face, I've got different lighting levels and I'm going to want to make sure that I get those as different shapes. And actually right here my hair sort of comes down a little bit. I should probably use a comb, but for these purposes this will be fine. And there's my hair, sort of an Elvis hairdo. I make that transparent. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to look at my hair. And if I look here, I can see some of the lighter areas in my hair. I'm actually going to use a curve to highlight those. And this will become apparent why I do this later on, because we're going to use different colors. And this is going to add texture to our cartoony drawing. It just adds a certain level of realism. So again, once I finish drawing it, I'm going to make sure that it's got a transparent fill. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's actually okay to do things that are a little bit off. And now is when things start to get a little bit creepy because now is when I'm going to start doing the features of my face. And it's okay if you make a little bit of a mistake. I made a mistake here. If you double click it, you can actually move these curve points and change the way the shape is laid out and adjust it. Which means if you make a mistake, there's no need to un to throw out what you've got so far. You can just come back and fix it a little later on. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this and I will speed this up so that you can see what it's going to look like after I've done
Okay, so now that we've got this outline done and we've got the different color regions sort of outlined, if I look at this without the picture behind it, it's kind of terrifying. It's a good idea to check every once in a while by moving your image to the side and seeing what it is you forgot to outline. So I actually forgot to outline this. So like I said earlier, you can go back and make adjustments. You know, I'm going to make myself a little bit more handsome by adjusting my chin size so it's less Jay Leno scale. If you use flat light, you'll have a lot less contrast, so you'll probably have a lot fewer regions. But if you look at the way I, I've outlined it, I've looked at color differences. So I didn't actually outline my nose here. I've just looked at the way the light and the shadow play off one another. And I've outlined where I see any different colors. We're going to use this extension here. This is called Awesome Color Picker. And this is going to tell me the color value of this part of my screen. Okay, so if I look at the color value, I can see my three numbers there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select this shape and do a custom fill. And I'm going to type it in here, 3828-4B. And I'm going to make it a little darker. And I'm going to do that same color for this pupil. And now I'm going to go through and starting with my smallest shapes, I'm going to start setting colors. That's pretty light. I'm going to just darken that a little bit. So now I'm setting colors. And that's going to take a little while. So why don't I fast forward through this for you. Okay, now we've got this sort of creepy, not very realistic looking drawing. So the next step is to play with transparency. We're going to make these shapes see-through so that we'll actually be able to see the colors underneath and this will help blend the colors. So you can click on the paint bucket, go back to custom, and change the transparency and it's going to start showing through and mixing multiple colors together. Now there's two things left to do. The first is to get rid of the background image. And then the second thing is to highlight every shape and turn the line color to transparent. And now when you look at your drawing, you'll have different regions. And if you zoom in, you should be able to see places where maybe you need to make a few edits. Like this shadow should probably extend all the way up there. And maybe my ear should not be quite so dark. And you can actually improvise as well. So, And again, we're just going to pick a custom color. Make sure it's a little bit transparent. And there I've got a decent ear. I can fix my hair a little. Now if I look at my drawing, I've actually got a somewhat silly looking, but cartoonified version. So there's a few things that I'd clean up in here, but for the most part, this is a pretty good start of what I would look like as a cartoon. And the last thing to do is to title your drawing. So that's my self-portrait. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.